Finally, whatever is true, think about such things. Welcome to Truth Is, the podcast based on the blog, based on tidbits of truth that find their way filtering through the mind of Dewey Roth. That would be me. And this would be episode 57, Smell the Color 9. A perfect storm of thoughts converged in my head on the way to work this morning, and it all congealed into an emotion while listening to the song Smell the Color Nine by Chris Rice. One thought. In an off-blogger comment about a recent post where I stated, I reserve the right to be wrong, but if I am, so what? What have I lost in this life if this life is all there is? The person commenting was decidedly less than impressed that I had culminated my thoughts with Pascal's wager. Two thought. My comment actually had nothing to do with Pascal. I wasn't aware that he had said anything similar, and it certainly wasn't meant as a reason for anyone to believe in Jesus. Just my personal thought that my faith is not a detriment to life on planet Earth, and if I'm correct, it's a great bonus for whatever is after that. Red thought. I am extremely less well-read than the small circle of atheists agnostics with which I sometimes converse. Their references to so-and-so's thesis and what's-his-name's counterbalancing communique most generally go far over my head. Blue thought. Sometimes it seems like these guys have turned their intellects into their personal objects of worship. That brain power is the only true power that they can't understand the God of the Bible and therefore refuse to accept. And while it is conversely true that I can't understand a lot of what they're trying to say, I can't imagine wanting to worship a God who I could understand and keep all neat and tidy in a box made of verifiable quantitative explanations. And now the song in question, well, the words at least, a link to the tune itself, will be in the description of this episode. Written by Chris Rice, here's the lyric for Smell the Color Nine. I would take no for an answer just to know I heard you speak. And I'm wondering why I've never seen the signs they claim to see. Are the special revelations meant for everybody but me? Maybe I don't truly know you, or maybe I just simply believe. Because I can sniff, I can see, and I can count up pretty high. But these faculties aren't getting me any closer to the sky. But my heart of faith keeps pounding, so I know I'm doing fine. But sometimes finding you is just like trying to smell the color nine. Now, I've never felt the presence, but I know you're always near. And I've never heard the calling, but somehow you've led me right here. So I'm not looking for burning bushes or some divine graffiti to appear. I'm just begging you for some wisdom. And I believe you're putting some here. Because I can sniff, I can see, I can count up pretty high. But these faculties aren't getting me any closer to the sky. But my heart of faith keeps pounding. So I know I'm doing fine. But sometimes finding you is just like trying to smell the color nine smell the color nine but nine's not a color and even if it were you can't smell a color that's my point exactly truth is i don't have all the answers sometimes i don't even know the questions but i know what satisfies my longing for purpose and meaning like nothing else can do facts alone have not brought me to this place but they led me to within shouting distance. Maybe this is what's meant by a leap of faith. You can find The Truth Is blog by going to almostthetruth.com, where you can also find my contact information and learn about the humor blog, Almost The Truth. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, like, share, and talk about Truth Is, please, and thank you. My name is Dewey Roth. God bless us, everyone. Truth Is is a production of Almost the Truth Communication Services.